I'm Sam from Ticket, and today this video is about parking and security in Vietnam. So I'm going to talk about the main aspects of parking in Vietnam. The first that we have is a large underground basement parking. So usually you'll get an electronic ticket that is linked to your number plate. Don't lose the ticket because you cannot get your bike out. It costs about 5,000 to 10,000 dong and it's very secure as you can see. Ah, come on, yeah. Okay, so when you're in secured underground parking, you should not lock the neck of the bike. As you can see, the bikes are uh, parked quite close together and the security guards do need to move them around. All right, and now we're gonna leave the secured parking. Uh, make sure that you have your electronic ticket with you. And here we go. And a little bit of cash as well. Have you got any money? Ah, no more, yeah. Ah, no. Ah, come on, Anne. thank you. All right, and we're good to go. Now, anything that you leave on the bike could get stolen. When you do park your bike in secure parking, the security guards are only there to look after your bike, not anything left on the bike. Take your helmet with you. If you don't want to take it with you, we do have the option on the, the blade of locking your helmet under the seat. So you're going to do up the helmet strip. There's little hooks inside the seat just there and close the lid all right and now your helmet is locked and safe however with our crfs our xrs our cbs we have no option for locking a helmet on the bike under the seat so we do recommend that you take everything with you on the bike if you do want uh you can ask a security guard to look after your helmet maybe tip him a little bit extra basically don't leave anything on the bike that you're not willing to lose so like you got a 10 dollar helmet who cares it gets stolen it gets stolen you got a 400 dollar helmet uh, you probably want to give that to the security guard so theft isn't super common in vietnam people are quite honest here however it is opportunist so anything that you do leave that's easy to take might be taken. When parking your bike at cafes or restaurants, you'll see a neat little lineup of bikes just at the front. You should be able to see a security guard uh, and they're quite efficient and fast with receiving your bike. Ah, come on. Yeah. Once you're in the cafe or restaurant, you, you've got the option of sitting, having a drink and admiring your bike, but otherwise the security guards have got it for you. Most cafes and restaurants are open plan, so you can actually see your motorbike when you're eating or drinking. If you can't, there's always a security guard. What happens if the police take your bike in? So it is quite common if you leave your bike sitting on the side of the road, that police will take it because they either think it's stolen or they just want to clean it up. It will be taken to the police station. If that's the case, you need to contact Ticket Motorbikes and we will arrange to get the motorbike free again. And we'll charge you for it. It's really difficult to get it back from the police. There's a lot of negotiating, uh, maybe a little bit of coffee money, but yes, we will charge you what it costs to get the bike back. But it will get back? Yes, yeah. It's very possible to get the bike back, but it's just not a good idea to leave up the side of the road. Essentially, it's impossible in Vietnam not to find parking. Everywhere has paid parking and everywhere has secured parking. There's almost no excuse to lose a bike in Vietnam. Uh, if it feels dodgy, it's not the right place to park. Go with your gut. Uh, and basically, even the smallest tourist areas in Vietnam, some of the smallest destinations off the beaten track, everywhere will have secured parking and a security guard. If you feel you need to lock the neck of the bike, you're not parking in the right place. And that is exactly why we don't sell locks. Okay, enough chit chat, the coffee's ready. All right. So we're here at this beautiful park. It would be a great idea to go for a walk, but leaving your bike here, once you turn your back, if thieves don't get it, it's very likely that the police will. They're very fast and very efficient. It's not a good idea. We get a lot of questions about in smaller rural areas like countryside places where people can park their bikes, especially for tourist attractions. Every tourist attraction in Vietnam is going to have some parking. If you watch the locals in Vietnam, people don't leave their bikes on the side of the road. It's very much part of the culture here to leave it with a security guard. For places like beaches, you can actually drive your motorbike onto the beach. If you cannot, then there would be, there should be secured parking. If you're riding out up in the mountains or in the jungle and you see a beautiful area that maybe you want to explore, 
don't park your bike and walk off into the jungle. First of all, you leave all of your bags and your luggage strapped to the bike, which is not safe. Vietnam jungle is not comfortable. It's too thick and dense to walk into. If you're looking to go hiking, then we recommend booking a proper tour. So what's more likely to get stolen, a CB500 or a Honda Blade? You might think that it would be our CB500s that are more targeted for thieves. But in actual fact, the paperwork for police on big CC bikes is far too complicated in Vietnam. Stealing a bike like this is very, very hard. The most popular bike for theft out of our fleet would be the Honda Blade. They're very common in Vietnam and they blend in quite easily. Bikes like our CRFs and our XRs, they generally tend to be too tall for the local population here, so they're not easily targeted either. For insurance for theft, we do not provide any. If the bike is stolen, we do put that as a responsibility of the rider. Why is there no insurance? If you get a bike stolen, it's quite likely that you have done the wrong thing. It's impossible not to find secured parking. So how do hotels work here when it comes to parking? I can give you an example. Let's pretend that our ticket Ho Chi Minh office is a hotel. During the day, the bikes will be parked at the front, just like this. In the evening, when the hotel begins to close up, most hotels will actually bring the bike inside into their living room or their lobby, just like this. Some of the small budget hostels in the small alleyways, they're not going to have parking. If you're staying in a backpacker hostel, it's probably a good idea to check ahead. So what happens if you do lose your parking ticket? The security guards are going to ask you for your blue card, the physical copy, which you will not have because we keep them at the ticket office. You can show them the photocopy paper of your blue card. Some security guards may accept it, some may not. If they will not accept the photocopy paper, then you can call us and we will send you a photo of the real blue card. If they do not accept the photo of the real blue card, then we will send you the real blue card. Keep in mind, if you're in a major city, this can be done with overnight shipping. If you're in a rural area, this can take up to seven days. If we do send you the physical blue card, we will charge you the deposit of the bike. This means that you have the full ownership papers of the bike. I do recommend that you're very polite and apologetic if you do lose your parking ticket. Do remember that it's their job and their paycheck on the line if they give you the bike with that proof of ownership. If you are having trouble negotiating, please call us up and we can talk to the security for you. If you do find yourself in a backpacker area, especially in Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh, the parking is not 24 hours. You may find that you park your bike, go to a pub or a club, come back and it's not there anymore. The security guards will close up and finish for the night. They will go home and leave your bike basically abandoned. The police will treat this like a stolen or lost bike. Make sure wherever you park your bike, if you plan to leave it overnight, it must be 24 hours.